Hello, I'm Richard from Tyne Valley Aquatics and in this video I'm going to show you how to lower the pH with these fellas, which are peat balls. Um, we're actually the only company that sells these because the peat that's in these balls is very difficult to get. It comes from about five feet down in an ancient peat bog. We actually get it from a quarry that bites away into the face of the peat. So it's quite easy for us to get. If you try to dig a hole in the peat bog, by the time you got a foot down, it would just start filling with water and you wouldn't get much peat. So these are basically just a ball of super slimy, really concentrated peat encased in a permeable membrane. Very, very good for lowering the pH. They keep most of our tanks down to about 6.5. And that's with us really squeezing it about once every week, or maybe even once a fortnight. Sometimes we forget about it entirely. If we squeeze them more than once a week, it tends to drop the pH to about 6, which is great for some killifish and also discus, um, dwarf cichlids, most of your South American stuff. There's a tank behind me here, which is at the minute got piranhas in. So I'll show you when you put them in, when you put the peat ball in, give it a squeeze what sort of stuff comes out. Actually before I do that, I'll just explain a little bit more about what does come out of here. It's basically humic acid, which is very, very old, rotted peat. Pretty much exactly the same as what you would get in a prepared black water extract, like tetra black water extract. If you look on the back, the main ingredient is peat extract. Here we go, stick it in. Just put the light on as well so you can see what's happening. See the water starting to go cloudy. It's basically just releasing black water extract into the tank. When I finish giving it a bit of a squeeze and the water's cloudy, I can just drop it in the bottom of the tank. And the, the peat in there will act as a bit of a buffer. And it'll help to keep the pH at a lower level. The last thing your Amazon fish want is a pH that's going to go up. Especially if you've got gravel in, that tends to buffer it up over. The peat will help to buffer it down. The colour that comes out will soon be taken out by filtration especially if you've got carbon in and within sometimes five or ten minutes the water's pretty clear certainly within an hour it should be crystal clear we sell these in packs of five on the internet on our ebay site the link's down here we also sell them on our website again the link is below this in the description um, we send them worldwide and to date we've shipped hundreds and if you check the feedback on the eBay site you'll see that everybody has been very pleased. <laughs> 